Hello and welcome to this special retrospective for 80s pop icon Peter Godwin. Tonight we look at his acting roles and we have a few words with his very special friend, a certain Warren Khan from Ultravox. First we have a clip of his acting role in The Predator Empire where he acts as a French translator. Here you can see the true skill of this man's acting ability. So without further ado, here is the man in action. And why not? I know it would cost money, but I believe that every child in Europe has the right, the fundamental human right, to a foundation <laughs> course in trampolining before the age of 12. Now, I may only be a simple leisure centre manager, but I have a dream. <laughs> Excuse me one moment, please. <clears throat> Britus, what is it, Collis? Well, of course I meant the path. Why would I want you to destroy a cricket pitch? <laughs> and remember to get rid of anything left over. The weed killer, Colin. It's just I'm a tad concerned that a small child might come along and pour some into its eyes. <laughs> right, bye. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Where were we? Mr. Britters, I was... <laughs> I think the little chap from Portugal was first. <laughs> I'm sure you agree there. Quite astonishing acting ability there from Peter Godwin. The nuancing in his script was just quite remarkable. And why not? Without further ado, we now have a word with Ultravox drummer Wong Khan. Uh, well, Peter Godwin, um, he first approached me to uh, lay drums to his track Images of Heaven. Um, quite an astonishing musical ability. I was taken aback by his vocal power and just the way he writes his music is quite remarkable. And he's a real diamond geezer. Uh, as one does, one had a quick nap and we went over to the studio and cut his hit Images of Heaven and the rest was history. I went on to record Vienna of Ultravox and Peter Godwin went from strength to strength. Thank you, Bon Cam. And why not? I'm sure you agree, ladies and gentlemen. Peter Godwin, quite a remarkable personality. So remember, Peter Godwin for the Eurovision Song Contest 2014. And why not? <laughs>